Hey everybody, Strixhaven, it's here. I went through a series of emotions with this set from extreme excitement when the Mystical Archives were, were announced to extreme disappointment when they decided to make it one per pack. And then I slowly worked my way back to excitement again. Because frankly, I think they're really cool. Um, I, I know some of them look a little cheesy. I, I get it. But there's something different, and I think just think this set, while this is very much a departure from the extremely serious nature that magic usually is, and this is having, you know, that, that mage school, Harry Potter like theme, um, I, I just think it's really, really neat. All right, so set booster box. First, you start with the art card. Then you're going to have a land. In this case, I got a foil land. Then we're going to get to the commons. Um, I'm not going to go through all the commons. If, if you guys just want to take a look at them online, do so. Um, takes forever to go through those, and I've got uh, 30 packs to get through here. So we'll kind of stop at some of the uncommons, but I think I'm going to kind of go through those a little quickly. Explosive welcome. Hey! Okay, so we had one. Ah, uh, good old set boxes. Okay, so we had one uncommon, and then we got Strixhaven Stadium. And then for our first of the uh, Mystical Archives, we got Claim the Firstborn, and then Foil Mage Duel. Okay? And then a Secret Layer Advertisement and a Spirit Token. So, what's everybody, uh, what's everybody's thoughts about this? Obviously, a lot of the Mystical Archives will become... I guess you can say bulk rares. And the best ones will retain value, of course, because people will seek after them. But what are your thoughts? You know, I enjoy the conversation about this set. I, I think a lot of these look really, really cool. Okay, Mage Hunter, Access Tunnel, Blade Historian. Now, I'll admit, I, I haven't been looking at attacking creatures you control have double strike. Eh, that's not bad. Um, Doom Blade. Oh, cool. You know, essentially just terror done differently, but uh, I guess it's better than terror. But all right, so since that is a rare one, we'll put that there. And then Agyar Battle Seer. Okay. And then a pest. But yeah, like I think those are very original, creative looking cards. And uh, I dig it. I dig it. I digged it when it was announced. I dig it more now. Okay, so we immediately got to an uncommon. Reduce memory, and then back to commons. These packs are going to be weird. Okay, okay so, all right. Is that uh, Damon Goth Woe Eater? Woe Eater, sorry. Damon Goth Woe Eater. I, I Twitch, okay. Kasmina! Extended Art Mythic! Right now, she is uh, one of the projected big dogs of the set. That is fantastic. And then the extended art in a set box. So I guess they followed what they kind of did in Kaldheim and uh, put some of the juice in there. Strategic planning. Oh, oh, the card that got all the hate. Faithless looting with the, like, is, I know it's a drawing, but it looks so realistic. It just looks like they put some random person uh, that that is different. So that is in the is that is this so? That's the question because I know the, they have foil etched uh, ones, and I don't know if those are just only in this in the uh, collector boxes. Like is this this kind of looks like regular foil, not foil etched. I could be wrong. That's interesting. So is there going to be foil etched, foil, and regular of these? So many questions, so few answers right now. Okay. So far, hey, that's, this has been pretty cool. Let's keep going. I hope, uh, hope everybody is as excited about this set as I am. Um, I don't know how many I'll get to open right away. I'm going to try to do some. Okay. Golden Ratio. Quandrix Apprentice. So, wait. Is this a Quandrix pack? So, Aether Helix. Quandrix card. Golden Ratio, Quandrix card. Quandrix Apprentice. Quandrix Cultivator. Exponential Growth, I could, as a rare, I could pretty much call that Quandrix. 
Valentin, Dean of the Vein. And that flips to Lisette, Dean of the Root. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and some of those, I, I don't really know if they're fire, but I'm not worried about that right now. Divine Gambit. And, ooh, Foil Revitalize. Cool. Okay. Have to admit, this set's kind of spicy. I have a feeling people are going to open this set like crazy. So a lot of cards are not going to retain. Okay. So at the very beginning, it looks like you get an uncommon for whatever that is. Um, I don't fully know what, what that is in this set. I'm going to have to check that out. That's interesting. Guessing, I'm guessing that has something to do with the schools. Please uh, let me know when I'm being an idiot. Hey, Wither Bloom Command. Cool. The commands all look awesome. I'm going to put that up in the... Uh, I should probably make a secondary good pile here. Or things that I think are cool. Adventurous Impulse. And Divisive or Decisive Denial. And yeah, nothing. Okay. All right. So, how many packs are we in? Nothing from the list yet. Um, I am interested to see whatever it is that they so-called cultivated for this set. I know one thing is they did the old print Phyrexian Arena. Or Phy Phyrexian Tower. Apologize. And it looks spectacular. Yeah, so there's another one. So, what what is that? So this time it's a common. All right. I really should have looked that up beforehand, but I've been kind of busy. Been a little preoccupied. Getting mad at Ikori and stuff. Baleful Mastery. Claim the Firstborn. And Needlethorn Drake. Okay. Let's keep going. So far, that Kazmina is definitely the big hit I've gotten so far, which is pretty sweet. All right, commons, commons, commons. I don't want the video to have to take two hours. Okay, Dimension, Dimension, sorry, Detention Vortex, Secret Rendezvous, Sparring Regimen, Abundant Harvest, Rare, Burry, Burry and Books, Burry and Books, done. Next. I know that some of these do look like that. I, I'll admit that Faithless Looting, I, I don't think that's a great looking card. Uh, I think that artwork is not quite what I think of when I think of Magic the Gathering. But it's something different. Give it that. Frost Boil Snarl. Okay, so this is the land cycle. Okay, so you have to reveal the island or mountains that are doing the enemy versions of these. Okay. I don't know if those are going to be spicy or not. Eliminate. Strategic planning foil. Getting a lot of foils. Hey, our first list card. I don't really have a place to put these. Brothers Yamazaki from Champions of Kamigawa. I'm going to move stuff to the side here. I'm going to have to figure out the piles here. I, you know, I do want to give those their own pile because I think they're really cool. So I also will be, as far as what I bought for the pre-release, I will be cracking a collector's. Um, that video might take a little bit longer than normal. Rip apart. What does that do? So this is from Lorehold. Oh, wait, that's, that's pretty awesome, actually. Okay. Hey, one of the Elder Dragons. Velomachus Lorehold. Awesome. Put you up in the good pile. And then Flame Scroll Celebrant into Revel in Silence. Okay. Infuriate for the rare. Oh, sorry, for the <laughs> mystical archive. Sorry. Tenured Incaster Foil. All right. So the collectors, of course, have one to two of the Japanese alt arts per pack. They're in Japanese. Um, I'm going to have to set up my computer nearby and try to have a list I can I can look at. Um, I have to admit, I, I've spent a little time trying to memorize the artwork, and I'm struggling to do so. So I'm going to have to really take... Hey, okay, Rush Rebirth. That actually seems like a really cool card. All right. Blue Sun Zenith. Fantastic. One of the solid hits, so that's a mythic out of that slot. I'm going to slide that over to the Mythics. 
expanded anatomy. Sorry, I couldn't read through my camera there. Okay. But yeah, so they're Japanese alt arts. Uh, couldn't they have done the artwork and printed the card and just printed it in English in an English box so we can read it? Hey, is that a rare right off the bat? Teachings of the Archaics. Okay. All right. Yeah, so whatever that slot is, I, I got to really look at that. I don't know what slot that is. That's weird. So that has its own rares, uncommons, and commons. Sparring Regimen. Dark Ritual. Sweet. Look at that artwork. That is cool. That is a cool looking Dark Ritual, I have to say. And then Calling Ritual. Foil. I don't know how popular the rituals are going to be, but that's pretty cool. And then, an, hey, is this from uh, Oath of the Gatewatch? Unexpected results. Pretty cool. So that's list card number two. Hey, Blue Sun Zenith. That was unexpected. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's get back at it. No time to dilly dally. Archmage Emeritus. That is pretty cool. I have to admit. Agonizing Remorse and nothing. Okay. You know, it's always funny when you're doing your first video with a, with a set you're not familiar with. Double Major. This looks like a really cool card, too. It's like a spell version of Sakashima. That's uh, it's pretty sweet. In fact, you go up in the good rares. I don't even know if you're going to withhold, you know, keep your value, but I don't care. I think you're awesome. And Pestilent Cauldron, which flips into Restorative Burst. So I think that's another interesting thing that decided to take the whole, uh, you know, the, the, the whole flip land idea. And then they applied it to cards with multiple uses. Kind of, I guess kind of like they did in Call Nine with the uh, gods. Um, I don't even know where I should put this. That's fine. And then revitalize again. And spectator mage. All right. So what's nice about opening it up the box first. So yeah, you, you don't know what kind of piles you're going to build yet. But you also have no idea if it's a good or bad box. And that's kind of fun, right? It, it kind of changes the... The, the feel, the you don't feel the pressure of, oh my God, it's got to be a good box. Oh, I can't, have a, I can't have a terrible box. Blot out the sky. So that is another mythic. It's a pretty cool looking card. In the mythics you go. Snakeskin Veil. And Snow Day. And I'm going to need to figure out what to do with all of these. Hey, another rare. How come these uh, list cards all come with like a tad bit of, they're all light played. Um, electrostatic Pummeler from Kaladesh. Okay. That's interesting. So they, they put energy cards on the list for this set, but this set has nothing to do with the whole energy mechanic that they, whoa, mythic mascot expedition, ex, <laughs> exhibition. Ah, oh, sorry. Um, so a mythic in whatever it is that first slot is. I'm seriously confused, but that's the fun of this. Okay. Ardent Dustbeaker. Venerable War Singer. Mind's Desire. Pretty sweet. That's pretty cool. Okay. Another mythic. Lash of Malice. That's that electrostatic pummel. It's again, it's I'm almost confused by that. Um, what the plan was to make that part of the list in this. That's oh, I missed a rare. Uh, so the venerable war singer was actually a rare. I put it in the uncommon pile. Okay, wormhole serpent, a freet flame painter. Oh, cool, cultivate. Okay, and Killian ink duelist. Yeah, that thing does a lot for two mana. Okay. And another card from the list. Nephalia Academy. Um, is that from Rise of the Eldrazi? All right. 
I just want to take a stop. I want to look at the basic. Okay, it comes into play tapped, and then you can scry for a whole bunch of mana. Okay. Okay, Vine Glimmer Snarl for another one of the uh, show you have one of these lands. Otherwise, this comes into play multi-lands. I wonder what the name is for those. Increasing Vengeance for yet another Mythic. Wow. Okay, and Archway Commons. Again, I have no idea if I'm doing okay here or not. All I know is I'm getting a lot of really... Yeah, I know I haven't gotten any of the giant money ones, but I'm getting... A lot of really cool uh, mystical archives. But with everybody that's going to crack a box, if everybody's getting the same type of ones, uh, <laughs> all of those are going to zero really quick. It's just, just fact. Simone Quandrix Prodigy. Okay. Dracon oh, sorry, Draconic Intervention. Thrill of Possibility. And expel. Oh, and another list card. Uh, lash out. Okay. All right. Well, I'm running out of space over here. Thankfully, it looks like I've got maybe 12 packs to go. Okay, give me more rares so I can put stuff there. Come on. Okay, and necrotic fumes. Okay, to the Nile. Shadrick. Silver Quill, so another one of the Elder Dragons. Pretty, it's pretty sweet. Okay, it's a, uh, it's crazy. Okay, Selfless Glyph Weaver, Stone Rain. That's funny. It's funny that they upshift that to a rare out of all these. Stone Rain. That card's, ah, it's like a OG. I guess so is our Dark Ritual, but our uh, say our Ardent Dust Speaker. Okay. I think that's funny. Out of all the ones you could have upshifted, Stone Rain. I guess it's iconic, so whatever. Kind of iconic, anyway. All right. Academic Dispute. Wormhole Serpent. Symmetry Sage. And another Vine Glimmer Snarl. So our second one of those already. Hey, Negate. Cool. And then Elemental Masterpiece Foil. All right, come on. Give me, give me one of the big dogs. <laughs> Did that have no commons? Yeah, that pack literally had no commons. Okay, Symmetry Sage, Master Symmetrist, Divide by Zero, Aether Helix, Golden Ratio, Quandrix Apprentice, <laughs> Devastating Mastery. Okay. Plarg, Dean of Chaos. Augusta, Dean of Order. Okay. Duress. All right. And Storm Clan Artist. Artist? Artist. And one of the odd flip cards, Grind and Dust. Um, is that from... Uh, was that from? Oh, Hour of Devastation. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I, I have gotten three rares out of the uh, list slot. I don't think any of them are particularly spicy, but that's still cool. Take it. All right. Lorehold, Excavations, Field Historian. So this is a Lorehold pack until that. Okay, multiple choice this is actually, I think, is a pretty cool card. Um, anything where you get that much variety of usage. Rural Wind Denial, Tome Shredder, and nothing. Okay, okay. let's keep chugging along. Manifestation Sage, another Quandrix card. It's kind of cool. Kiani, Dean of Substance. I think this is actually a really cool card. And Ibrahim, Dean of Theory. Okay. Village Rights, Closing Statement, and nothing. All right, so I'm going to have to move this just off to the side over here. Um, 
it might become impossible when you do these to really kind of track the uncommon versions of those. It's just too many. Test of talents. Radiant scroll wielder. Okay. Urza's rage. Professor Zumancy, nothing. All right, so we're in the final stretch of the box now. Let's see if we can get another couple spicy hits, or things that seem cool anyway. Verdant Mastery, I don't think that's one of them. Opt, good old opt. And Academic Probation Foil. Okay. Uh, I'll put that there. All right. I think this is five packs left. We got an autograph card, not that those mean squat, but that's, is that Rihanna? Kiana, Kiana, Kiani, Kiana, Kian, I don't know. I could spend a, a moment of thought figuring that out. Double major again, Defiant Strike, and Pillar Drop Rescuer. I could figure that out, but I don't care. So, proceed forward. Not enough time, too many packs to rip. That's my world. Quandrix Cultivator. Emergence Sequence. Kelpie Guide. Multiple Choice again. Okay. Infuriate and Practical Research. All right. So I feel like, I mean, we have hit a fair number of Mythics, so we probably, we've probably run out of steam in this box. So, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. I have no idea right now if this was a good opening or a bad opening. I'm going to post this. So today is Friday the 16th, and today was literally the pre-release day. So this is going to release on the 17th. Quandrix Command. Awesome. I will take all the Quandrix. Thank you. Compulsive Research. Cool. That's pretty cool. All right. And nothing. Okay. And Blight Sickle. For a list. Two packs left, everybody. Okay. I hate that I have to keep checking that first card. Okay. Lorehold Apprentice. Pass Caller. Professor of Symbiology. Clever Luminancer. Okay. Fracture. That's actually pretty awesome. Holy crap. Okay. Silver Quill Apprentice. Those are the Silver Quill pack. Gnarled Professor. Memory Lapse with the uh, iconic artwork for the set. I think that's an awesome looking artwork. That's really cool. Okay. In Excavated Wall. Saber Ants from. Is that Mercadian Mask? Yeah, it's Mercadian Mask. I still. I still don't know exactly uh, what the list, uh, they cultivate it, but what do, what do really any of these cards have to do with the School of Mages exactly? Uh, oh well. All right, last pack, everybody. Appreciate you watching. Draconic Intervention again. Hey, what is this? Wandering Archaic. I don't even... You know what? You're going over here. Strategic planning, and it's probably it. Silver Quill Pledge Mate. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, comment. Let's talk about it. I'm sorry this video went 24 minutes. Thanks for watching.